Today I will show you how to make this crazy surveillance effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. So here I have a clip of Osamason from one of his music videos with Netspend, which is called Withdrawals. And here we can start making the surveillance effect. I guess I don't know actually how to call it. I wish you guys could tell me any suggestions below because I didn't know how to really name it. But yeah, to make this effect, it's not that difficult, but it's also not that obvious as you might think. So how to make the effect is first, what you need to do is go to one of my favorite tools in the whole After Effects, which is the rectangle tool. If you have been watching the channel for a while you might understand why I love this tool so much and what you can do now is choose like genuinely the rectangle not any others and hold shift and draw it over something so I'm gonna draw it over his face uh, but you could draw it wherever you want you know wherever you want the surveillance to be but I think his face is pretty cool so I'm just going to hold shift and draw it now why am I holding shift well it's because I wanted it to be an actual cube when you hold shift, it actually makes a perfect cube. That's why you hold shift. And now you'll have this like fill. So you need to go here and just press on here. Just turn on the fill. And what you need to do is actually turn on the stroke and make it to three. So, I mean, you could make it to one, but it would be like very tiny. So I'm just going to make it to three. I think three is the best. And we will already have this. Okay, it's not very well placed. So what we can do is I'm actually going to make this pan behind. Go to the middle. You don't have to do this, but I'm just doing this to make it more a bit comfortable for me. I'm just going to position this cube to where his face is. Now this will depend on you, but you could track this cube, but you need to do it now. You need to track the cube right now when you have just made it. So in order to track your cube, you can just press P and keyframe the position by pressing on it. And then just like go every frame like this. And then you can just position it like uh, he's going like this. I mean, he's not moving much. So I could have just gotten away without even like doing this, but I still want to track it. Okay, so I think it's pretty well tracked and that was kind of easy to track, I'm not gonna lie. But now what you actually need to do is you need to press Control D on your clip layer and press Control D on your shape layer. And now you need to go to this duplication of your clip and make sure toggle switches modes is pressed off of right here. Now this might be a bit different for your After Effects version because this button might be a little bit in a different spot. Uh, yo, this is Povikas from the future. If you're using After Effects 2025 or probably even newer, you will need to press toggle switches on modes. And here you will see this button and this is the exact same button from 2021 or other versions and you just press shape layer and it will turn into, well, you know, whatever you have and just press on it. Now, what this will basically do is I can show you. If you turn off the background layer and now go back to this shape layer and then press on the fill and actually make the fill, like have some fill and press okay, you will have basically our subject in the cube. And another thing we wanna do is take the clip that we made and select it and select it with the shape layer. Now, right click on it, press pre-compose and here we can call it like a cube and press okay. And now what we can do is we can just add like some cool effects on the cube because now it's just going to be like this i don't know i mean you might want to have it like this sometimes it's cool just to have it like simple but to add some effects uh recommendations would be to add first noise just a perfect effect in my opinion i like to actually uncheck use color noise although if you keep the uncheck use color noise it will just have color on but i'm gonna uncheck it and i like to make it like around 15 percent not too much but you can make it more if you want and another effect i really think is needed out here is invert now you can have it like this you can change it from rgb to loom it will be like that but another little variation you can do is make it go up on noise and here you can make it go to green and now if you don't have this plugin then no worries you don't need to add this but i also like to add s invert now this is like invert but with a bit more options i would say so what i like to do here is i like to just turn off invert chroma and i like to go to offset darks and i like to make it here to minus 1.8 and you will get this crazy like surveillance what even is that look i don't know but i just i love that look so much yeah that's one of my favorite looks to do with this but another look i like to do is i like to delete the upper invert now keep this on and already that's another cool look you can have but i'm gonna keep going here i like to add s blur chroma now again you do need the software plugin for this so sorry guys i'm very sorry for this and you can go to blur chroma and make it to 188 and the blur luminance i like to make it to four and another effect I like to add here, which is also even a different plugin, it's called Signal. And here I like to go to Luma Modulation, although you can keep it like this. And I like to turn off tape errors and also turn on and off. Now, what this will basically do is look before 
and after. It damages even more and adds like the sharpen effect. Now you could have just added a sharpen effect, you know, and just made this sharper. I think signal looks a little bit better. And the last effect I like to add here is to damage the look even more. I like that fast box blur. And I like to make the blur radius to two. And that's it. That's how you have like probably my favorite surveillance effect. Oh, and yeah, and I completely forgot. You can also add a text. Okay, yeah, how did I forget that? So we can add a text. Uh, I like to add like this touch designer text. Usually they have it on touch designer, which is just subject. I'm gonna call it 001. Now I'm using a really simple font, uh, which is free and you, you probably have it as well. Like it's installed, it's Arial regular. It's the most simple font you can possibly get. I'm gonna go to this pen behind now and I will actually make it to the position. I'm gonna try to duplicate the shape layer and just not use it right now. And I'm gonna take all of these keyframes right here and I am going to add them to my text yeah uh, let's just get these keyframes right there oh I pressed U by the way to see the keyframes and now let's right click press pre compose on the text press ok and then press P and make the text go a bit down and right here okay yeah so I tracked the text in a bit of a dumber way but yeah oh yeah we can delete that duplicate we didn't need to duplicate that but yeah that's a pretty stupid way to track uh, something but that looks amazing but yeah that's uh, pretty much it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you want more sauce and you haven't seen the tutorial then I really recommend to check out my trace and blob tracking effect you guys have been loving the tutorial so i definitely recommend to check it out if you haven't checked it out but yeah guys uh that's pretty much it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know i also want to say that i just finished my exam so there will be more videos for me now so stay tuned for that but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya